These are not normal police cars, because this is not a normal city. Again, news from Dubai has hit the world. And the world says, wow, I don't believe it. But here is the proof. For the first time, the Dubai Police Special Cars Unit lets TV crews go on patrol with them for this Motor Vision World exclusive. Gentlemen and ladies, start your engines. These two gentlemen are Jassim and Mohammed, members of the Dubai Police Force, on their way to their patrol car, a Chevrolet Camaro SS. Before it went on its first cruise, the Dubai police equipped the Camaro with a computer so the officers on patrol have access to all relevant data. They put a radio in to communicate with the 999 emergency center and they put the flashing lights and the sirens on top. The Chevrolet Camaro SS has a 6.2 liter V8 supercharged engine and takes the car from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.6 seconds. Of course, the makers of the Camaro believe there is no better cop car. The Chevrolet Camaro really fits well with the Dubai Police Department. We ensure that we provide them a great vehicle, great performance, great comfort and safety built into the vehicle for the officer as they patrol the streets. So uh, an extremely good fit between Dubai and Chevrolet. Buti Al Gandhi, whose company has been selling Chevys to the police in Dubai for more than 25 years, couldn't believe when he got the call. For them to pick the Camaro as a police car, we were surprised actually. We never looked, we never thought such a, a market would exist as a police vehicle. Uh, I believe the reliability of the vehicle, the track record for the last two years, it's been launched just recently, is what made them decide on it. Mohammed and Jassim do not even wink or smile, but act as if their car is just as normal as any other police car. But others do notice a difference. Dubai police is one of the best equipped forces in the world. Officers from all over come to see their hypermodern situation room. Well, you know, Dubai is probably one of the most safest cities in the world. And I have a lot of respect for what the B Dubai police do to ensure the safety of the public. I love my city. I love how everything works in Dubai, really. And the police is one big plus in it. Uh, when you walk out of the airport in Dubai, you feel safe from that first second. Whether you're a five-year-old child or an old, old man, you still feel safe in this city. Year by year, more people are coming to live in Dubai. But year by year, the already low crime rate is pushed further down. Major General Hamis Matar al mazena is the second in command and explains how Dubai police does the trick. Dubai 
دائما في فكر بايجاد ما هو كل جديد في المجال الامني وتطوير امكانياته، استخدام التقنيات، ايضا وتاهيل الكوادر البشريه العامل فيها بصوره تخدم ايضا مثل ما ذكرت مستوى مدينه دبي مستوى دوله الامارات كدوله حضاريه ذات مؤسسات تتعامل ايضا بالجوانب القانونيه في اتخاذ اجراءاته وما يترتب ذلك من اجراءات. Crew in the Camaro patrol car have spotted a bad guy and take him on. The driver of the pickup seems more interested in their car than he is in getting a ticket. It's very nice. A large part of putting supercars on the force is to promote the Dubai police. And it works. Press from all over the world come to Dubai to report. <laughs> كمدينة دبي مدينة مرشحة لإكسبو 2020 ونحن حريصين على استضافة هذا المؤتمر فلا بد أيضا أن نوجد جانب يتعلق بالجوانب التسويقية للإمارة بالصورة اللي تخدمها في ظل ما تقدمها من خدمات مثل ما ذكرت وجانب هذا طبعا أخذت الأمور تأخذ الجانب التسويقي الجيد من خلال وسائل الإعلام من خلال ما تم التطرق له على اعتبار أن اليوم المدينة تستخدم أو شرطة المدينة تستخدم سيارات ذات قيمة مالية كبيرة جدا وإن شاء الله هناك أيضا سيارات أخرى سوف تدخل الخدمة قريبا يعني خلال يمكن أسبوع أو أسبوعين وتكون أيضا ذو قيمة مالية وذي ماركة تجارية قوية جدا في عالم السيارات ميت ماريان أنبادرية seasoned officers of the Dubai police, who now share a very, very exclusive experience, patrolling the streets of the metropolis in a supercar.
ladies cruise in a Ferrari FF with a 6.3 liter V12 engine. It has 660 horsepower and only needs 3.7 seconds to make it from zero to 100 kilometers an hour. This is clearly not the only Ferrari on the streets in a city where more supercars are sold than in any other town in the world, but it is the only one with flashing lights and a siren. The ladies are on their way to the Burj Khalifa when they see a Saab driver double parked. Ferrari or not, Marion is a police woman and this man needs to know he is doing wrong. to take a call and suddenly lights behind behind you in the mirror you look in the mirror and suddenly you see a Ferrari and two girls getting out and you go what's this it's strange and these two wonderful police women get out and ask you questions it's surreal but that's part of Dubai but why have the Dubai police put the Chevy the Ferrari and the Lamborghini on the force اليوم شرطة دبي من الشرطة المميزة اللي تكون على مستوى المنطقة ربما تكون على مستوى العالم إن شاء الله حريصين أيضا على الوصول للعالمية ونحن في طريق إن شاء الله لأن تكون الشرطة العالمية على مستوى دول العالم ككل The Lamborghini Aventador is the fastest police car in the world. Its 6.5 V12 engine produces 700 horsepower, speeds from 0 to 100 in 2.9 seconds, and reaches a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. No wonder the crew has to stop at the gas station once every shift, where they are treated like every other car. Well, Almost. Fully fueled, they cruise to the Jumeirah Beach Walk, another hot spot for tourists in Dubai. Here, everybody is gasping at the supercar in white and green. Except one lady.
car. Is your car? Yes, it's my car. It's turning wrong way. So yes. I was just making a phone call. You have to move. Go to the police. Is that the Lamborghini? It doesn't matter the car. This is the police car. Wow, it's nice. Yeah, just move on. Can I have a look? No, just move back the car, then you can't. All right. Well, at least I got stopped by Lamborghini. Okay. Sorry for that. It's okay. Now that the lady is parked correctly, she wants to have a closer look at the police car that caught her. Hi, I parked my car now. Can I have a look? Yeah, sure. Oh, great. Can I have a look inside? No, inside. Oh, and it's beautiful. I'm sure you're having fun driving with it. But it's not even a picture? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Don't do it again. I promise. Bye. This is the end of this exclusive report on the special car unit of Dubai police, but not the end of the story. The general has already commissioned three more supercars, soon to be on the roads.